Welcome back to Vickington Photographic Club's YouTube Tutorials channel. Um, this tutorial is the second part of our tutorial on how to put together a triptych. And it comes from the evening of March 12th, 2019, where we were showing you a whole host of different ways of manipulating canvas size within Photoshop to create montages, triptychs, panels, putting stroke borders on images, etc. Now you'll remember from the last tutorial that we had increased our canvas size for our otter here so that we can introduce a couple of friends for him. We also brought in our second otter and also our fox. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually click and drag our image so it comes away from the bounding box and we're going to do that for both of our secondary images if you like and I'm going to move them over here so that you can see the workspace still I can still see all of my windows but they're not getting in the way of one another and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply introduce each of these to this canvas by adding them as layers and this is a lot easier to do than you might think there's a tool on the left hand side it's simply called a move tool look at that it shows you moving things around. Select it, choose the first image you want to move around and just pick it up and drag it. You'll see a little white plus box and an arrow appear on screen on your canvas and just let go. And hey presto, little Foxy has appeared next to our otter. Now obviously he's not in prime position but this little box which is now a separate layer in our panel can be moved around. Uh, you can overlap, you can create a nice little border which is even. Uh, it's entirely up to you. You can do that with the mouse or you can use your cursor arrows for fine tuning. So I'm just going to use my cursor arrow slightly just to narrow that gap there and I'm quite happy with that. And I just repeat the process with otter number two. Drag him out of his image and drop him onto my canvas. Do the major moving with the mouse. You'll see the pink lines come up. They're sort of snap to lines. They're showing you when you've got things lined up correctly. Then you can go to your cursor keys just for fine tuning. And there you go, that's fine tuned. So I'm happy with those. These little guys can go back to the top like so and if I come back to this one which is my one with layers in you can see I've got my triptych which is pretty close to completion what I need to do with my layers however is to collapse them all so that they are one image so what I've done there is I've chosen the background which was our original layer that had the canvas size increase on it and I've selected my layer one and my layer two. And they've all been selected together by holding down the shift key. And with a right click of the mouse button on any of those layers, you can see that I've got options here. I could flatten image, or I could merge visible, or I could merge layers. In this instance, because my little eyes are on, all three of those will have the same outcome. So it doesn't matter which one I click in this instance but I'm going to merge visible out of habit. So you'll notice now that this is just a single layer. My layers have been compressed into one and it's a single entity. To finish this off, just as a reminder for you all, we're going to put a secondary color border around our triptych to finish it off. So click on our canvas size choose percentage remember here that now that your width is different to your height by approximately double you want to make sure that the width measurement that you put in is half that of your height measurement so in this instance just one percent versus two percent it's going to be kept central because i want those changes to apply evenly around the entire canvas 
and again you've got the color option if we come in here we can choose any color we like we could go with a nice dark green slightly lighter maybe that'll do it's not a color that I would normally use but it's gonna show up and it's gonna show you how the process works so we'll go with it finally we click OK there's our green stroke border which goes all the way around the white three images into one that's a triptych finally file and save not save as because we're saving back to Lightroom clicking the save button will create an image there we go saving 30% 42% etc once it's saved you can close down the images you were working with you don't need to make any changes to the two that you were just shifting around and you can go back into your Lightroom screen and you'll see that not only do you have your three original untouched images but you also have a nice triptych of English wildlife so there you go that's creating a triptych using Adobe Lightroom Classic CC and Adobe Photoshop CC we are Bickington Photographic Club I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial the next one is creating panels in much the same way as we've been doing this thanks for watching carry on learning and we'll see you soon